And here's exactly what happened at the stroke of T. Was uh, Ian Bell out or not? Take a look. It was the last ball before T, and Oyen Morgan seemed to have hit a boundary. Praveen Kumar wasn't sure he'd stopped the ball short of the ropes. Just the way they would like to. But Bell seemed convinced it was a four, and so walked over to Morgan, assuming that T would be called. Mukun knocked off the bails, and along with Dhoni, appealed for a run out. A long period of deliberation followed, but the third umpire gave it out because Bell had left his crease, leaving the batsman and his team shell shocked. Uh, yes, the captain can withdraw his appeal uh, before the next delivery. Now I'll tell you exactly what England will say. You want to play it like that? You We're going to play it like that. Now, Sorav, would you have said yes? Would you have overturned that? I would have said yes. The Indians were soundly booed when they walked back in from tea. But the boos turned into cheers when Ian Bell emerged from the dressing room. Dhoni had withdrawn his appeal after being approached by Andy Flower and Andrew Strauss. It ended with a standing ovation for Team India and their sporting gesture that had diffused a potential flashpoint.